Hey Summit, this is Edward and you know this guy Jake and this is your weekly update. Make sure you share this on all your platforms. Jake, we're back in the garage studio today. Um, maybe we spoke a little too soon, but you know what we, Sunday is. We bragged on spring weather last you, week. You know what Sunday is, don't you? Um, Time change! Oh. Spring forward, brother. Yeah, everybody's losing an hour of sleep. A lot of people be getting to church at the wrong time. We understand. Uh, grace is available for that. So um, I'm excited, dude. Yeah, longer days in the night, sun not going down. Yeah, uh, maybe you can fish a little bit. Make after sure work. you change your clocks. Yes. It is so awkward on the Sundays of time change when people wander in at the wrong time. Oh, they'd wonder in about eleven if yeah. they didn't change their clocks at our place. So. Uh, yeah, because service is at 10 o'clock, so make sure you change right. your clock. That's this Saturday night, uh, spring forward. We're excited about daylight savings time. It's going to be good. I don't uh, even know that you save daylight because the days get longer. It's, yeah, it's just so moving it's, around. You're not saving daylight. It's, yeah, it's just moving you're around. You're actually using more daylight. Uh, so you're not really saving. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it nonetheless. Hey, we also wanted to let you know... Uh, daylight using more time. That's true, 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 true. Right. Uh, we love to pray for you guys, and you guys turn in requests every week, and we receive those, and it goes to our prayer team, and we have different facets of our prayer team. Uh, some come to staff. Uh, some go to a prayer team that meets every week. Then we have an online presence of when those prayer requests are sent, but the one that meets every week at the building, we wanted to let you know, is moving from Monday to Tuesdays at 1 p.m., and so we want to invite you. Maybe that works better for you. Uh, if you want to come and pray and be a part, and uh, our new pastor of worship, Andrew, is uh, kind of Ow. kind of uh, speaking to that, and uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, excited for that. He's led prayer ministry teams for years, and uh, he's going to be helping Judy and yeah. uh, Linda. Linda, so Vermeer. real excited about that. Learning more about that. Judy What's Bain, happening? Linda yep, yep, it's going to be good. Now, so, are they moving to Tuesday so they can serve tacos? Uh, don't know. That'd be a great idea, though. It'd be a great idea if they did serve Taco tacos. Taco Tuesday prayer meetings. Um, I like, maybe more people would come. Maybe so. Yeah, I don't know. If you feed them, they will come. So yeah. uh, for sure. Oh, it'd be cool. You start off with. A few tacos, and then by the time the prayer meeting's over, they've multiplied to like thousands of tacos. That would be cool. So let me mention what's going to happen uh, in April. It's going to be April before we know it. Yep. I mean, dude, this month is flying by. This year is flying by. On April the 3rd, we're doing our annual baby dedication, and we want to invite you. If you know someone that's just recently had a baby, like the Brights, probably yeah, going to be Brights, too soon for the Brights. Brights have had know. a baby. Maybe too soon for that, but... Um, if you've not gotten signed up for that, to get in touch with Kristen at Chris, at summitheightsfellowship.com, Kristen with a K, uh, and connect with her. Uh, she is our preschool pastor, and we're going to be dedicating babies on that day and just honoring them and praying over them and praying over their families. Really excited about that, and uh, it's going it's always a fun yep. Sunday to honor those kids. Yep, good stuff. You got anything else? I do. Around? What you got? In 2004, in April of 2004, Summit Heights Fellowship started with 12 people Crazy. in a living room. Two of those 12 people, a couple of years after Summit Heights Fellowship started, had to leave. All right? He's a basketball coach, yep. and he got another job in another town. Well, this last Saturday night, our friend and my buddy, Jeremy the Bull Durham, coached the Brownsboro Lady Bears to the 4A state championship cool in deal. basketball. Cool deal. Mr. Durham, yep. we're so proud for you. We miss you here at Summit Heights. Great Truth. job. Truth, man. I, I texted him that cool. night when you sent me that it's picture. Awesome. And, uh, yeah. Man, just, just a great guy. Loves Jesus. Very mm -hmm. instrumental in this church. Uh, for that. Uh, that's exciting. Hey, church, I do want to encourage you to be praying for our world uh, and uh, for people, not policies, as uh, we heard this dude, morning. That's Andrew, powerful. And that, yeah, that's Andrew, good. That's yeah. good. Um, just be praying. And, and uh, there's a lot we can't do. There's a lot that we can do. And what we can do is be praying and uh, to be sensitive to that. And we uh, just acknowledge that we know some of you are fearful. Uh, remember, the gracious hand of God is on us. Uh, we're his people. We're his children. And I want you to be encouraged. Just as we preached a year and a half ago, uh, this isn't new. This has been going on for since Cain and Abel. And 
Uh, this is not taking God by surprise. This is not God setting up there scratching his head because of what's going on in the world. Uh, he is still on the throne and he still loves his church and we're a part of that church. So be encouraged today. Uh, rest in that peace. Pray, cry out to uh, him for uh, these people uh, all around the world that's been affected by that, by people who are taking in refugees here in the States. Uh, be praying for them and uh, just know that we love you. It's on our hearts too, as we we're talking about it as staff, and we know you are also watching this happen in the world today. So remember, the gracious hand of God is on his children, and he loves us. This hasn't taken him by surprise, so cry out to him and um, trust him during this season. Uh, make sure you're here this Sunday at 10 a.m. It's going to be great. Spring break next week for a lot of the schools. Uh, so we know some of you will be traveling. So if you are, join us online. Uh, we know last week we had some things that kind of glitched. Uh, we think we've got that taken Fixed. care of. And uh, so this Sunday, 10 a.m., if you're in town, if you're on spring break, join us online. Do a watch party. Invite somebody with you. We're excited uh, just about what God's doing at Summit right now. Sermon on the Mount, part two this Sunday. So we love you, Summit. Got anything? Nope. All right. We'll see you Sunday.